My friends, P1s, I'm still Miss Kany Betty. Remember, when the, by the time I left you, we had discussed the verbs, we had listed the verbs, many of them, and we spent those verbs. I left you with an activity of just reading my sentences, identify a verb, and give it a tick. So get prepared. Open your books, organize them very well, and we do the corrections together. Tick the verbs in the following sentences. The sentences are here. You are supposed to read sentence by sentence. Then you identify which is a verb, which is an action, which, what is that person doing in that sentence. For example, one, Betty can teach English. Is Betty a verb? Can, is it a verb? Teach, is it a verb? Then English, which one is a verb? Oh, someone has told me, teach. Then correct. So I come and give it a tick. Teach is a verb. We got number two. We have Liz has to clean the kennel. Then you begin reading Liz. Is this something to do? Has to clean the kennel. Which one is something to do? Oh, someone has already identified clean. Thank you so much. You come and take it. Clean. Clean is an action. We come to number three. They can write well. So which one is an action in that sentence, my good learners of P1? Which one? Yes. Hey, someone has said right. Thank you so much. You come and give it a tick. A smart one. We go to number four. He has to dig today. Which one? Which one? Which one? Can you look at it and give me the correct one? Which one is a verb? Yes. Thank you. So dig is the verb. You tick. You go to number five and also try it. She needs to drink some water. Which one is an action there in that sentence? Okay, my. Thank you so much. So we have to drink. Drink is an action. So it's a verb. Thank you so much. That was our correction. So you can cross check your work very well. Be honest and see. If you have failed, you can make corrections, my good learners. But after doing that, when I come next time, I'm coming to start putting those verbs in a now tense. So we are going to deal with a now tense when I come back. Thank you. Yes, my good friends, boys and girls of P1, I'm still Miss Betty, the teacher of English, which you love so much. Now, this time we have a new lesson, a very good one, simple, and you are going to enjoy. Settle. Today, we are going to discuss about now tense. Now tense. What you're doing now is what we are going to discuss. Think about what you're doing now. And you can even be able to tell me what a now tense is. What is a now tense? Then you are going to identify the verbs where we add ing in a now tense. And we are going also to identify for me the helping verbs in an out tense. Then you will construct some oral sentences in an out tense. So get ready for the lesson. What is a now tense? When we say now tense, what are we talking about? Here we are talking about actions that are happening now. Now tense talks about actions that are happening now. Is it clear? Now on the blackboard I have it. And now tense talks about actions that are happening. Talks about actions that are happening. Like what you are doing now, right now. It is in a now tense. In, 
in now tense, we add ing. So when we are talking about now tense, we are going to add ing to the verbs that we, we have been learning. There are those verbs which need to be added directly. So let me hope you understood what an out tense is. An out tense talks about actions that are happening now. And when we are dealing with verbs in an out tense, we add I energy to that verb. So here we have verbs where we add I energy. Verbs where we add I energy. This side I have a verb. Here we have now tense. So this verb is go. You can tell someone go away. Go, you just put I energy in the now tense. Like, what are you doing? I am going. So go changes to going, whereby you put I N G. So when you put ing, you have changed the verb from the original one to an tense. So it is going. This verb is do, an action, do. So if you are changing it to an tense, you are supposed to put ing to this verb do, like here. ing is here. So the verb is now doing. We have learn. Can you spell learn? L-E-A-R-N. Learn. Like what you're doing now. So if I ask, what are you doing? You will answer me. Learn, you will put I-N-G. And it will change to learning. We have read. Can you spell read? R-E-A-D. This is the original verb, the original form. Then the now tense, you're going to put ing. From read, you say, I am reading. Then we have this one, eat. Can you spell eat? E-A-T, eat. It's something. Good. Now, you put ing, it will be eating. When you put ing to be eating, eat, eating, what you're doing. Then we have drink. Drink, you put ing on that verb, it will be drinking. Drinking is an out tense. We have teach. Can you spell teach? T-E-A-C-H. Then when you put I-N-T, it will be teaching. This is a now tense. So we can read through those verbs we have constructed, like go, going, do, doing, learn, learning, read, reading, eat, eating, drink, drinking, teach, teaching. In a now tense, as we've been discussing in the now test that we have those verbs where you just put ing. We've discussed these verbs here. And we have something to note because when you're constructing a sentence, you must know what we call helping verbs. We have some verbs which help you to construct a very correct sentence. For example, if you're talking about one person, one person, you are supposed to use a helping verb called is. I-S is is. You are talking about one. It can be a singular pronoun or a singular noun. Noun is a, like a name of a person. Then a pronoun, singular pronoun is when you use he, she, it. You are talking about one. These ones are singular. So you can say he is, she is, it is. Then when you come to singular nouns like Betty is, 
rose is, cut is, paw is. You are talking about one. So this is a helping verb. It will help you when you are constructing a sentence like, Betty is teaching now. Now, when you come to R, like A R E is pronounced as R, you're talking about many plural. Plural pronouns and plural nouns. Plural pronouns can be like you. You can be plural things like you. Can be like they. Can be like we. So when you are using these ones, you are, they are, we are. Those people are, those children are, those parents are. So when you're talking about poor, you're going to use a helping verb called are. Then I have am. A and M is am. Can you say am? You're talking about yourself. Like I can say, what are you doing now? Then you're talking about yourself. You can say, I'm writing, I'm reading. I am doing this and that. So, am is when you're talking about your own self. These are helping verbs. Now, right now, I would like you to construct for me good, correct sentences in an hour tense. Can you construct for me some good sentences in an hour tense? Okay, thank you so much. So, I have my few here, like, Betty is teaching. The helping verb is will help you to identify now. This is a now tense. Even if the word now is not there, you can say that is teaching English. If I want, I can put now. If I don't want, I, I just leave it. So long as I have used the is. Is is just an indicator to show that this is a now tense. I'm going to put ing to the given verb in brackets. Now here we have. We are doing our work as a group. R is indicating that it is an outings. So if I have my do in the verbs, and teacher said use the verb correctly, I will say we are doing our work because of the helping verb R. It is an outings. When you come to a singular pronoun, he, he goes with is, it is the one. He is cleaning his shoes. Maybe your brother or your father. You can say he is cleaning his shoes. Because of is, you just know that is a now tense. Now, my good learners, it is just, I'm going to spare my little time. I'm going to leave you with a simple activity. I've got some verbs whereby you're going to put ing so that you can change from the original verb to the now tense. Directly, you're just going to put ing that giving verb so that you can get from me now tense.